I'm here today with Jonathan Edwards. Uh, Mr. Edwards, fantastic, epic journey by Michael Bates there. What's your view on it? I, I, it's a remarkable achievement. I, I can remember probably about a couple of years ago, Michael and I were travelling up, uh, back from London up to Newcastle uh, on the East Coast line, and he was telling me about his fascination and his desire to do something with the Olympic troops. And I never imagined then he would end up walking, what, 3,000 miles from Olympia to the House of Lords. And I think he's raised the awareness. Uh, there's a huge amount of interest within the Foreign Office. I think there's even an Olympic truce officer now. So he's done, just as a physical feat, something amazing, but he's also drawn attention to the Olympic truce in a way which never would have happened had he not done this. And it must be a pretty athletic... You're, you're an athlete yourself. It must have been a pretty athletic feat to actually walk that far. Well, it is. And the thing which is stood out to me, you know, I was going to come down and meet him here this morning, I was thinking... What is Michael going to look like? He's you know wasted away to a kind of you know a stick thin sort of long distance runner, and he looks incredibly well on it. And I think it's been, um, I think the whole experience has been really uplifting. He's found that being involved with the Olympic movement and the truce has really opened doors. He's met the Pope. You know, he's obviously met Jacques Rock, and everywhere he's been, he's been welcomed with open arms. And people have really, I think been inspired by what he's done to raise the profile of the Olympic truce. And behind you now is the Olympic Stadium itself. What's the message that you think should be drawn from both Michael's walk and also the Olympic Games in London this year? I think in terms of Michael's walk, it, it's about inspiration, I think. If you believe in something, do something about it. It's easy to sit on your sofa and, and not do anything and have great ideas and dreams and, and not do something in order to make those, those happen. Um, so whether it's Olympic truce or whether it's, I don't know... <laughs> going along to a local swimming club I think that idea of, of getting up and doing something and, and if you possibly can I that, that's really really important cool. um, and in terms of London 2012 more broadly I, I just think it's going to be going to come a great time for this country a real celebration I think they're going to do a great job of putting on the greatest show on earth and it's something that the country will feel very proud of thank you very much indeed